What's up everyone, my name is Gary Blackwood, welcome back to the vlog. Today we're playing at 5, 5, 10 with the odd 20 and the odd 40 with some absolute legends from Hustler Casino. I'll tell you who is in the game as we go along. Straight into the action we go, I've got Jack, 10, offsuit and I am in the $20 straddle. The small blind is open to $70 and I, of course, defend. Our first flop of the day is pretty good. It is King Jack, 10 with two spades. The small blind C-bets here for $50. Even though I have two pair, there are so many bad turns and rivers for my hand i decide to just call to the turn it's the three of hearts two flush draws on board now and the small blind bets again for 160 dollars not a massive bet from him here but still i decide to slow play i don't want to bloat the pot with such a vulnerable hand the river is a very ghastly nine of spades the front door flush gets there and the straight as well the small blind bets 225 dollars i of course just let my hand go not a great run out there and hopefully it's not a sign of things to come today and just 15 minutes later i open a shack offsuit in middle position to $30. The man, the myth, the legend that is Jay Boogs in the cutoff makes it $110 to go. This is not normally appeal, but I am a big Jay Boogs fan and I want to play some pots with him so I make the call. To the flop we go, it is 754 rainbow complete swing and a miss for me, but a bit of hope when I check and he decides to check back. A lot of hope on that turn card. The ace rolls off to give me top pair. I check to him and he decides to bet for $75. I'm really hoping he doesn't have ace queen or ace king here as I make the call to the river. Okay, now I hope he is ace queen or ace king. Top two pair for me. And I check to him, but unfortunately he snap checks back. I show my hand and he actually turns over pocket queens. I thought perhaps I'd rivered him, but it was the turn that did the damage. Dragging in my first pot of the day here and hoping I'll be making it two out of three when in the very next hand I pick up pocket aces. I make it $35 to go, just willing someone to re-raise, but the only action I'm going to get here is a call from Jay Boogs in the hijack. To the flop we go, it is queen jack for all diamonds this is a very interesting flop online i'd be checking here always but i ain't online no more baby i see bet here for 40 dollars, which actually induces a raise here from the hijack he makes it 125 to go i definitely can't re-raise and i for sure can't fold so i make the call and we see an offsuit king roll off on the turn i check and he bets again for 200 dollars. i think the best play here is to just call we're probably not ahead given the action and as i love to say it's live poker and people don't fold so with all that in mind, I of course check raise to $575. What am I even doing here? He's never folding a flush. He might fold a straight, but I block that. The correct play is surely to call and try and get there or to take my hand to showdown for as cheap as possible. After a long, long tank, he does eventually release his hand. And after butchering this turn, I immediately show my hand as if I've just pulled off some sort of sick bluff. I really should be silently mucking in shame here and dragging in the pot. Right, let's get focused and stop wailing about. Out. Next up, I pick up a couple of J-Boys in the big blind, and for the third time in a row, it's me against J-Boogs. We should just go play heads up at this point. Nobody else at the table seems to want to get involved. He makes it $45 to go. I 3-bet to $225, and he 4-bet jams for about $900. I'm never folding, of course. I make the call, and he's got pocket queens. He's pit me by one, but the only saving grace for me is that he didn't manage to top up to $1,500 in time for this hand. Let's see if the dealer can help us out a little bit. Are you gonna, are you gonna... For the vlog. Yeah, getting beat twice. <laughs> I'm gambling. Let me make the vlog and hold. Hold the vlog. If you hold it, doesn't go on the vlog. I can't show me losing. I want a jack. Please put a jack on there. Please put a jack. Jack on heart show. Ow. See? Nice son. That will make the book. It's gonna make it, don't worry. Make it. It'll make it, don't worry. I'll put it on. <laughs> I must say what an absolute gent he is rooting for a jack. No help from the dealer though and I am now the one in need of a top up. Just a few minutes later though, there's a dealer change and that means it's PLO double board bomb pot time. I am in the big blind with king 10 6 5 double suited and as we get the two flops, I've got the nuts on one board and an open ended straight draw and two backdoor flush draws on the second board. MP leads out for $175, the hijack called. Local pro Mark Goon is on the button and raises to 600 
$175. I then put in the cold three bet jam for $1,500. MP makes the call for roughly the same amount. The hijack thinks for a while and begrudgingly folds his hand. Mark calls it off as well. We've got a ridiculous three way all in here. MP has got ace, nine, seven, five for two pair and the second nut straight. Mark has got seven, six, five, three for the nut straight and a big wrap. This could legit go anyone's way here. The turn on the top board is an unbelievable turn for me. I've now got all the draws, but there is a flush draw now possible on the bottom board. I might not win that one. To the river on the top board. Yes, I've made a back door. Oh wait, hang on. MP has made a boat. Never mind. Now we need to hold here on the bottom board to not get scooped. Thankfully, it's a clean one, and I end up getting three-quartered instead of completely scooped. What a roller coaster of a hand that one was. I gotta tell you, when I'm all in in these PLO hands, they absolutely ruin me for the regular no-limit game. I just want to be all in with four cards on two boards every hand. Still, I gather my composure and grind on. 20 minutes later, I'm in a small blind with ace-queen offsuit. The cutoff is raised to $30. I am always, always three-betting this hand here. I make it 120 to go, and he makes the call. To the flop, it is king-5-3 with two clubs. I bet out here for $130, around half pot. The cutoff isn't going anywhere just yet. He makes the call. To the turn, it's the 10 of clubs. That just about seals it for me. I am betting here and shoving every river in the deck. And if you've got me, you've got me. I fire that second barrel for $350, ready to unload on the river, but that won't be necessary as he makes the fold. He asked me if I had the ace of clubs in my hand. This man knows what a blocker is. I tell him I had a flush, bluffed him with the cards, and now bluffing him by talking to him without the cards. Next up, is a very, very fun hand. Once again, I'm in the blinds again with Ace Queen offsuit. Mark Goon has opened on the button to $35. A local pro called Peter is called in the small blind, and I put in the squeeze to $140 from the middle blind. Big blind gets out of the way, Mark makes the call, and then the small blind back raised jams for $1,600 total. I was absolutely not expecting that. I think about it for a long, long time and eventually decide that this guy knows I can squeeze with all sorts of reasonable hands that can't call the jam. Hands like King Jack suited, King Queen offsuit and the button has kind of capped himself here so if the small blind's got a hand like pocket sixes or sevens he can just shove and try and win the dead money pre-flop i decide that it's almost always a flip and given there's some dead money in there already i can profitably make the call so i call it off and after the button folds we turn our hands up and he's got ace king of hearts talk about a fucking trap and i have fallen right into it we're gonna run it twice here and i need a lot of help but before we take a look at the run outs i just want to quickly thank you guys for watching one of my recent videos it did really well and i'm super grateful for that. As is standard on YouTube though, only 20 or so percent of the viewers on that video were subscribed to the channel. I'll make you guys a deal. If I somehow, some way find a way to win both these boards, you got to pause the video, click that sub button. Deal? Deal. Over to you, dealer. Then burn and turn. That's me. Burn and river. That might be you. Yeah. Yeah, vase. Maybe it's king. Chop. Okay, so I didn't quite manage to get there twice, but I ask you guys to sub sometimes, and I gotta balance those sub requests and not get there every time I ask. Still though, if you guys could click that sub button, I'd be super grateful. Back to the vlog, it was a very fun hand all in all. Kudos for the man in the small blind for setting the trap. It's been a really good game today. And next up, I'm in the $20 straddle once again with Ace Jack suited. The button makes it 65 to go off of around 1,200-ish dollars. I decide to put in the re-raise to $230, and he just rips it for 1200 right in my face my hand is a mandatory re-raise pre-flop and a pretty mandatory fold versus the jam a little annoying to have to fold a hand as pretty as that but what can you do moving on mark goon is on the button and opens to 30 dollars i'm in the big blind with king three suited i make the call and we see a flop of six five deuce with two clubs and one spade leading is for sure a thing here but i decide to check and the button fires out a c bet of 30 dollars check raising is of course fine and that's exactly what i do i make it 120 $20 to go with the gut shot, the backdoor flush shot, and the overcard. No immediate fold. He makes the call. To the turn, it's an offsuit nine. No immediate help, but seven eight does get there, so I decide to keep on betting. I bet $175. Not really sure about this size in hindsight. I've probably miscalculated the size of the pot, and it's not going to get the job done. He makes the call. To the river, it's an ace. I'll give up here with certain club combos, but we unblock his clubs that have to call twice and then fold, so I unload the clip. I bet 
$440. I then face a long, long, painful tank. My opponent counts out the calling chips and talks to himself about all the hands I could be bluffing with here. What's more, I've definitely bluffed him a couple of times and then put it on YouTube, so that definitely goes against me. The seconds are dragging by, and after three solid minutes, he folds. Let's go. I muck my hand, and I tell him if I had a bluff there, I would for sure show it once again, bluffing with my cards and bluffing with my words, dragging in this nice pot after blasting my way out of some trouble there with just king high. All right, next up, I'm on the button and look down at queen 10 suited. Easy raise, of course. I make it $35 to go. The small blind calls, as does the big blind. Three ways to the flop. It is queen, jack, five, flush draw. I bet $70 and both players make the call. Bit of a disaster turn card here is the king of clubs. It checks to me and I, of course, decide to check this one back. The river is the ace of clubs. I make the second nuts and the big blind bets out for $135. I'm very sure I've got the best hand here versus this size and live poker is all about getting value when you have it. So I put in a very milky raise to $375. Really like this size for me here. The small blind gets out the way and the big blind absolutely snap folds. Guessing he was just taking a little stab there. A nice run out for my hand. Coming towards the end of the session here, stuck a couple of thousand bucks for the day overall. Hoping to get some of it back though here when I pick up ace king offsuit on the button. The cutoff has made it $30 to go. I of course put in the re-raise. I make it 105 total. He's going to make the call to the flop we go. How about that? I flop top two pair. I decide to see about here for $75, hoping he makes the call. He does not make the call. Instead, he raises me to $175. A very unexpected raise. And whilst it's very tempting to click it back here, this particular player has been very creative, shall we say? So I decide to just flat call, let him do his thing on future straights. The turn is an offsuit five and he decides to check. I'm fairly certain here that he's just got absolute air. So I decide to check it back and let him go ahead and bluff on the river instead of me betting on the turn and making him fold. The river is an offsuit deuce and he does check again. It's going to be real tough to get anything out of him here, but he's only got $500 behind. So I decide to be greedy and try and get it all. I put him all in for his last $500 and very surprisingly, he makes a very quick call. I show him top two pair and he cannot beat it. I drag in this very nice pot to finish up the day. It's been a really good day with lots of fun, decent action overall, but the game got very reggy for the last hour or two. Sometimes the regs won a battle, sometimes they don't. Unfortunately, today they didn't, so we all tapped the table and I headed to the cashier, losing 1,320 American dollars in the process. All right, boys and girls, that is going to do it for this episode. Really hope you enjoyed the show. Please do consider clicking that sub button. Got two or three episodes left from my last LA trip. Really excited to release them. They're going to be crazy. And then going back to LA exactly one month today uh, to make vlogs uh, for three whole months. I'm really excited to go and you won't want to miss it. So click that sub button. Until next time, guys and girls, take it easy.